What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Throughout the Arnold Classic trap, we heard from Samson and Milos that a competition isn't ready for what's coming their way. And I am glad both these guys have a winner's mentality going into this year's Arnold Classic and their confidence is sky high. Samson kept his fans updated on a daily basis about how he felt during different phases of his prep. And listen to this IG story. Yep, so we just had our check-in. We yeah. are yeah. in the house. Yes. Huge. Big oh. as a house. Yeah, Let me tell you. We coming, man. We coming. <laughs> Don't miss this weekend. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be fun. We're going to enjoy some time today. Uh, yeah. We're coming for that win. Oh, yeah. Samson's first official in-person check of the week with Milos. And Milo says he looks huge, big as a house. And that is when Milos hasn't even given him the carbs. And here is when Milos gives a sneak peek of how things are looking before the carbs loading phase start. They feel like they are right on the money for this one. Oh, he's gonna give him the sight. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They're they ready for that, they're ready for that. Oh, we're looking yeah, for points. Yeah, yeah, we're happy. We're happy. Oh, yeah, man, it's going down. It's going down this weekend. You know? I have personally followed Samson's entire prep, and he nailed every aspect of it 100%. All that is left is the peak. He wasn't 100% at the Olympia stage. Hopefully, he will be at his best at the Arnold Classic. A former two times Arnold Classic champion definitely deserves more respect. I am talking about William Bonnach. But the thing is, he isn't making top five in most of the predictions. In fact, he is in the same spot as he was before the Arnold Classic 2022 when people totally counted him out. But what happened was the Conqueror surprised the bodybuilding world and he should have won that show. So fast forward one year after his bad showing at the Olympia, he isn't even in the discussion for a potential top 3 finish. But the thing is, I get that. Someone has to place outside the top 3. And the lineup is so freaking unique, it is almost impossible to predict. As far as I can remember, William Bonac never looked this good in the front relax shot which is one of his weakest shots. The focus has been on controlling the midsection and his waist. And it seems like it is being paid off. But let's not forget, bodybuilding is judged by who you stand next to. Everyone looks awesome in the gym under the perfect lighting. So we will see how he holds up against the lineup at the Arnold. His back double bicep is gonna be one of the best in the show. So no matter where he places, he will beat his Olympia look by miles because I 100% believe he is gonna peak a lot better. More shots of Nick Walker has been released by Gilco Productions, the best in the business right now. I know the lighting is all different, but if we put Nick's front relaxed versus Williams, I think Barnack is beating him in this shot. As per Nick Walker and Matt Jensen, their biggest competition is Sean Carida. So they are not afraid to suck down to chase that extra bit of conditioning. But in my opinion, Nick needs to bring that freak factor, that wow factor. Otherwise, I think he is gonna land in trouble. Don't forget. Big Rami's biggest criticism at the Olympia was that he was flat. And Chad already explained that this is gonna be the biggest version of Rami since 2020. So coming back to Nick Walker, he had a nice combination of everything at the Olympia. And he needs to bring an even better version in 48 hours. Because it isn't gonna be a walk in the park for Nick Walker or for anyone else for that matter. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.